Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling and Dash for the 15th of December, 2021. We're your hosts. I'm David. Next to me is uh, a very loving Hana, a golden retriever. Across the table, Ollie, more mature, and Uvella. Today's readings come to us from James chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm calling this one worldly. And dear, would you lead us in prayer? Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the day that you've given us. Thank you for warm clothing, because we're in a cold environment. We thank you for giving us your words so that we can learn and uh, set up guardrails and help us to become more like you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Hannah is just loving. She's just giving lots of kisses and uh, doesn't want to share. <laughs> well, mine is from James 1 through 5, 1. Chapter 1, verse 5, and it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. And also James four seventeen, If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. My observations. Guardrails keep you on the road. These are two verses that are guardrails to me. First, I want to do God's will, and at times my desires and impatience want to make decisions. This is when I fall back to my guardrail and ask God to help me make the right decisions. Sometimes I want to get lazy and not do something. This verse about knowing to do good and not doing it equals sin helps me to follow God's word. My application. I think it's important to put up these guardrails to guard your Christian walk. These two verses will continue to guide me through my lifetime. My prayer. Thank you, Lord, for giving me verses to help me make the right decisions and lean on you for help during my time here on earth. Thank you for teaching me through your word. Amen. Amen. I wish Ollie had uh, a way to teach Hannah guardrails. What are guardrails to you? They're things that you set in your life so that you don't fall off the cliff. And what I mean by that is if you say, okay, I want to be close to God, then I'm going to make sure that I journal every day. My guardrail is that I need to journal every day. If I don't, then I start straying away from God or he gets a little distant to me. It could also be if you're seeing people and you're... um walking through a park or something like that one of the guardrails i have is that if i see a woman then i try to identify her as my mother my sister my daughter immediately and um that's just a guardrail i have as a guy that i just set these things up in my life um another one always be honest so you don't have to remember what lies you've told and it's just that's what it is and so it's very simple for me when someone says, well, you said such and such. And I'm like, no, that doesn't sound godly. When, no, I didn't say that. What did you write on today? Uh, you adulterous people. <laughs> <laughs> James chapter 4, verse 4 and verse 7. Verse 4 says, you adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means going against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. And in James chapter 4, verse 7, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. My observation, when we are to be of the world and not... We are to be in the world, but not of the world. Thank you for the editing there, Hannah. We must choose to be close to God and tell the devil that we are with God so that he and his agents run from us. So again... We want to be in the world, but not of the world. Application. I must not be focusing on being popular with what the world likes, but instead be focused on a personal relationship with God. Often, when I feel that something is not right, I say, I am with Jesus. If you are not a spirit with God, get away from me. I really do this. I try to stay close to God through journaling, music, sermons, and mentors, and I find this is important so that when evil or worldly things 
not aligned with God come my way, that I recognize the situations quicker. I think that's really important because if not, you kind of slide into sin. My prayer, Lord, thank you for opening my eyes and your gift of the Holy Spirit. Help me avoid things of this world that draw me away from you. Guide me and protect me. Amen, Pastor David. I think it's important to have those guardrails because in cells, we would call it a death by a thousand cuts. And it's not just one thing, but it happens over a period of time. If you um, eat lobster, you boil the lobster in a pot, but you put the lobster in, in the cold water and it just kind of goes to sleep. You just forget. And um, we don't want to forget and just allow sin into our lives. You said in your um, reading to be in this world, but not of the world. What do yeah. you mean by that? Uh, I'm going to say Merry Christmas while the world is saying Happy Holidays. Um, I'm going to go to movies like the rest of the world goes to movies, but I'm going to go to only ones that I review or select that are worth my hour and a half or two hours in my money. Right now, I'm not going to any movies. But it's the same thing with being online. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, and our goal is not to be the most popular video channel, but it's to be encouraging to other people that may want to life journal or to do soap method or to be encouragement for them because we've lived through this already. I mean, that was one of the things we talked about when we started journaling 20 years ago. We've just continued to do it. And now we're just sharing it on camera with other people so that maybe we can mentor them or we can encourage them and their walk. It's not that we have this idea to be famous. That's the last thing Juvella wants to do is to be recognized on the street by people for Juvella. We want to be recognized that we're with God. But that's what I mean. We're going to be in the world. We're going to use YouTube. We're going to use iTunes, SoundCloud. We're going to use what's available to reach people. But we're not going to just use a bunch of clickbait. Clickbait? That's clickbait. See what I mean about being in the world but not of the world? Clickbait is like when you would put up on the YouTube a little slide that says the sky is falling or uh, David and Yuvella give a million dollars away we're not doing that but people would click it on to find out what that's about that's click bait mm -hmm. or if you were to be in a bikini you know <laughs> I don't know if that would be bait but uh... I'm just saying you know those kinds of things oh you know if we had one that said cats love us and it had a cat, we would be appealing to cat lovers. Okay. That's not us. Right. Okay. It's not that we hate cats, okay? Let's just not get some hate mail because we don't like cats. You are allergic to them, you know. That's why we don't have a cat. But obviously, we have the Golden Retriever audience. So tomorrow, we're going to read from 1st James. No. First Peter. Yes, as my wife was saying, my wife is right. First Peter's chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Exactly right. So clickbait was it. My wife is always right. That's so not, people would click on that to see what's going on. That's not clickbait. That's the truth. Okay. With that, we'll pray. <laughs> Father God, thank you so much for this time together every day. Help us to set guardrails so that we can be in the world, but not of the world. That we can have boundaries and that we will stay close to you. That we will tell evil spirits to flee, not to tempt us, but to be gone. Because we have you and we have the gift of the Holy Spirit. We ask for your guidance and protection. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.